Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review and in this video I'm going to review Dedicated Side B by Carly Rae Jepsen. Brand new album out of the blue from Carly Rae Jepsen. This was something that I didn't expect coming at all and this is almost a year after the release of her comeback album Dedicated, which in my opinion even if it didn't manage to have the success of emotion, it was still a very satisfying pop album and definitely another work that further proves why I think Carly Rae Jepsen is one of the better pop artist nowadays. She doesn't do something really that exceptional with her sound. The ideas by themselves have the very standard pop formula but they're quite catchy and they're quite effective for what they are and what they present. Dedicated Side B is 12 tracks and it's somewhat shorter than the previous album and it's sort of like bonus material but it's not like this album is presented to the audience like a B-sides project or like bonus material. Instead, Dedicated Side B is presented as a sequel and a standalone full-length album on its own. But listening through this whole album, I couldn't help myself but feel like this sounds just like B-sides from Dedicated, which is not a bad thing by itself, but in no way, shape or form does this album get to the level of the very first Dedicated project. This album over here is significantly weaker and possibly one of the weakest projects from Carly Rae Jepsen so far in my opinion. There are not that many things to say about this album as it pretty much offers the standard formula that Carly Rae Jepsen pretty much presents with all of her albums. If you have heard the first album, there is certainly nothing different that Side B provides over here. Instead, the thing with this album is that it pretty much feels just like weaker ideas of Dedicated. You still have some very nice electropop elements here and there, but I really couldn't find the vocals or the production or the ideas presented over here to be something that really stands out in my opinion. That's not to say that the album is unlistenable or that it doesn't have its moments, it certainly does. There are definitely some very good highlights on this album. Some of the main examples I can think of are tracks like the very catchy and very beautiful Stay Away or like the very nice sort of 80s disco throwback with Let's Sort This Whole Thing Out which definitely has one of the greatest choruses and I think it's a very imaginative song. What's by far though my favorite moment out of this album is the track This Is What They Say. It is a very addictive song, it has got stuck in my head because it has a very nice chorus to it. I really love the melody with those basses synths to it. It is an extremely catchy song and it ends up being one of my favorite Carly Rae Jepsen songs in anything she has done so far. But it's pretty apparent just with the beginning of this album is that it feels slightly off. Like it doesn't have the emotions or the energy of the catchiness from some of her previous works, it feels like something is certainly missing and there are some moments where the instrumentals could feel kind of bland. Some main examples are with tracks like Felt This Way, which was a very forgettable song in my opinion. Also you have tracks like Heartbeat, which feels extremely empty and that there could definitely be more to it. It feels like such a hollow and such an unimaginative song. Tracks like Summer Love or Solo are fairly decent, but it's mainly some of the choruses that managed to stand out in this album, as the rest of the instrumentations or the verses are not something really that special. Fake Mona Lisa was a track that definitely had potential in my opinion, but I think it's ridiculously short, I would like more to it. Comeback featuring Bleachers is a decent moment. I don't get the watch with this very long fade out that lasts for about half a minute. And then there's also the quite silly and catchy Now I Don't Hate California After All, which 
it's a decent finisher I could say but other than that yeah I don't feel like I have anything else to say about this album this is basically like a weaker version of Dedicated as far as it has its major highlights this album as its whole feels more like a besides project rather than being a fully fleshed compelling album because it definitely ends up having some of the more safe some of the more bland ideas some of the less catchy and some of the more unimaginable pop tunes she has so far. This album in general is definitely a fun ride but it's also one of her weaker projects so far in my opinion. I'm going to give dedicated side B a 6 out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it? Dislike it? Why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.